Hey there, aspiring hackers and tech enthusiasts. Have you ever imagined yourself as a digital detective, diving deep into websites and apps, uncovering hidden vulnerabilities, and getting paid for it? Sounds thrilling, right? Well, that's the world of bug bounty hunting. If this has piqued your interest, then get ready. In this comprehensive guide, we're going to break down everything you need to know to start your journey as a bug bounty hunter, even if you're a complete beginner. So, before we dive into the video, let me introduce myself first. My name is Josh, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. So what exactly is bug bounty hunting? In simple terms, bug bounty hunting is a form of ethical hacking where you search for security weaknesses, or bugs, in websites and apps. When you find one, you report it to the developers or owners in exchange for a reward. And here's the exciting part. The reward isn't just a pat on the back. Depending on the severity of the bug, you could earn hundreds, thousands, or even millions of dollars. Beyond the financial incentives, bug bounty hunting is a unique opportunity to sharpen your tech skills, compete with other talented hackers, and make the internet a safer place. Becoming a bug bounty hunter. Where to start? You're probably wondering, how can I get started in bug bounty hunting? Great question. Let's take a step-by-step -step approach, starting with the foundational skills and resources you'll need before diving into actual programs. First, you need a solid understanding of programming and web technologies. Knowing how websites and apps function will help you identify potential vulnerabilities in their design. A crucial language to learn is JavaScript, which powers most of the web and is the source of many vulnerabilities. Master the basics of JavaScript, including its syntax, features, and concepts, as these will become essential in your journey. Next, you'll want to learn a programming language to automate your tasks. For this, Python and Go are excellent options. Python is widely used for quick, simple scripts, while Go offers efficiency and scalability for more complex tasks. Having a grasp of these languages will allow you to write scripts on the fly, which is invaluable in bug hunting. Additionally, get comfortable with regular expressions, or rejects. These patterns are incredibly powerful for searching, matching, and manipulating strings of data, which is key when gathering and processing information from websites. Rejects will be your best friend for filtering and modifying data, so practice it thoroughly. Web Application Basics and Common Vulnerabilities Understanding web application architecture is essential. To identify vulnerabilities effectively, you should be familiar with key concepts like HTTP requests and responses, cookies, session handling, and authentication mechanisms. Many common vulnerabilities relate to these areas, so learning about different web components and how they communicate is crucial. Here are some of the most common vulnerabilities you'll likely encounter. SQL injection. Where attackers can exploit database queries to access sensitive data. Cross-site scripting, XSS. Injecting malicious scripts into web pages that execute in the victim's browser. Cross-site request forgery, CSRF forcing a user to execute actions on a site without their consent. Broken authentication and session management. Exploiting weak session handling or login processes. Knowing these vulnerabilities inside and out will help you identify potential areas of weakness in web applications. Connecting with the bug bounty community. One of the best ways to learn and stay motivated is by joining a bug bounty community. Online communities are filled with experienced hackers, newbies like you, and tons of valuable resources. Reading about real bug bounty experiences can give you practical insights and ideas on where to look for vulnerabilities. Essential tools for bug bounty hunting. Equipping yourself with the right tools will make your bug bounty hunting journey smoother. Here are some must-have tools for any bug bounty hunter. Burp Suite. One of the most popular web application security tools for finding vulnerabilities like XSS, CSRF, and SQL injections. OWASP Zap, Z-Attack, Proxy. Another great tool for detecting vulnerabilities, especially useful if you're new. 
as it's free and well-documented. Nmap, essential for network scanning and identifying open ports, which can reveal services and systems that may be exploitable. Durbuster, a tool for brute-forcing directories and finding hidden files on web servers. SQLMap, helps automate the detection and exploitation of SQL injection vulnerabilities. Mastering these tools will enhance your efficiency and give you a greater range of methods to uncover vulnerabilities. Choosing the right bug bounty program. Once you feel ready, it's time to choose a bug bounty program where you can put your skills to the test. But with so many options, how do you pick the right one? Here's the secret. Start with a program that matches your experience level, interests, and goals. Look for programs with a broad scope, clear rules, and a decent reward structure. Platforms like BugCrowd, HackerOne, and Integrity host programs across various industries, from technology and finance to gaming and e-commerce. Not only do these platforms connect you with companies needing testers, but they also offer community support, learning opportunities, and rewards for your achievements. Some companies run their own bug bounty programs, like Google's Vulnerability Reward Program, which allows you to hunt for bugs specifically within Google's products. These independent programs are perfect if you want to target specific companies or products. Reporting vulnerabilities effectively. Once you find a vulnerability, the next step is writing a report that clearly and professionally explains the bug. Here's a quick outline of how to write a great report. Title. Give a concise description of the vulnerability, e.g., SQL injection on login page. Summary. Explain what the vulnerability is and why it matters. Steps to reproduce. Describe the exact steps to replicate the issue. Include screenshots, code snippets, or any relevant details. Impact. Explain the potential consequences of the bug and how it affects the site or app. Recommendation. Suggest a solution or mitigation approach. Effective reporting is key to building credibility in the bug bounty community, so practice clarity and precision. Beginner-friendly bugs to look for. If you're just starting, you'll want to focus on what we call low-hanging fruits, common vulnerabilities that are relatively easy to identify. Examples include cross-site request forgery, CSRF, which allows an attacker to perform actions on behalf of a user without their consent. SQL injection, where malicious SQL queries are used to access or manipulate databases. And cross-site scripting, XSS, which involves injecting and executing malicious JavaScript. Another vulnerability to watch for is access token harvesting, where attackers steal tokens that give them unauthorized access to user accounts. Targeting these bugs is a great way to build confidence, hone your skills, and potentially get those first bug reports in knowing when to move on. Bug bounty hunting requires patience, but there are times when it's best to move on from a program. If you're in the information gathering phase and find that the program uses unfamiliar systems, such as a GraphQL API instead of REST, it may be worth switching to a program better suited to your knowledge. Similarly, if you've been hunting for weeks and can't find any bugs, it might be time to explore other programs. This can mean you need to learn more, or that another program may be easier to tackle. Remember that bug bounty hunting is about the thrill of the hunt and the satisfaction of finding and fixing vulnerabilities. If you don't find bugs immediately or experience setbacks, don't get discouraged. Bug bounty hunting is a journey filled with continuous learning and improvement. So, are you ready to take your first steps into the world of bug bounty hunting? Drop a comment below subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content, and let's make the internet a safer place together. Happy hunting and good luck. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.